This is the biggest secret that the credit bureaus do not want you to know. People truly find it hard to understand that the credit reporting agencies are not in the business of helping you. On today's episode, I'm going to cover a major secret in one of the biggest steps that you need to take before you start disputing and attacking collections, charge-offs, or anything negative on your credit reports. This is one of the most important, crucial things that you need to do, and I'm going to show you the proof as to why it needs to happen. And I'm going to bust a huge credit myth that everyone needs to stop doing. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike the Credit Guy. I'm the owner and founder of Limitless Culture. We created the most advanced DIY credit management system in the industry. Our system allows you to take control of your credit, creating custom Metro 2 attack letters every single round, never using templates for only $55.99 a month. Link is always going to be in the description. Now let's get into this video. You never ever want to start the disputing process by using Experian, Equifax, or TransUnion's dispute online portal. Don't do that. Do not dispute any type of collections or charge-offs in their system. You, if you do use their system, only do hard inquiries or names and addresses because you have to remember something you need a paper trail to show that you actually did do this at any point in time they can say oh we never received your dispute yeah it doesn't exist sorry done you need to do the paper trail send a certified mail with return receipt everyone thinks that there's hundreds and maybe thousands of actual people working at the credit reporting agencies opening letters and like oh look oh Oh, look at these disputes. These are pretty serious. No, just go and throw that idea out the window. It doesn't exist. You're going through a fully automated system. This is very, very important because every single collection, every charge off has an actual code that's attached to it. And then on top of that, your address plays a huge role in this. So let's say hypothetically, you lived in Arizona when you got a collection or a charge off, but then you moved to California. Well, guess what? Every single address has that specific code. Now, the collection company or the charge off company, the original creditor, is going to have that code attached to every single actual account that you have. So when you send in a dispute letter, the biggest and fastest way that it verifies it is with that address. Every single address on your credit report is attached to something. As an example, let's put it up on the screen. Both of these, we'll put them side by side right here, right next to me, are from two of the major credit reporting agencies. As you can see, it's an address identification number. And you look at the collection at the very bottom, guess what? That code is right there matched up to it. Now you look at the other one, same thing, address identification number. Each one of these, the negative account or the open account or the good account in good standing has that that is actually helping them verify that this item is actually yours, it's accurate and complete because the process is made to be simple and fast for the creditors and the credit reporting agencies to verify your information. And this is exactly how they do it. So we need to get rid of the address verification numbers because if the address verification number is not in your personal information, then it's not going to match to the actual collection or the charge off account, making it harder for them to actually verify it. And this is what we want to do. We want to attack the names and addresses that are not ours and do not match our driver's license. So you need to make sure that your driver's license is updated and it doesn't match any of those old addresses. A big, huge mistake that people make when they're working on their credit is that they still have the same old address that is attached to those collections or charge offs. Update your address and then now you can start to attack the addresses and any names that do not match your driver's license. Last part is the most important. Now the eOscar system also has a like button. Now it actually doesn't, but this channel definitely does. So make sure that you smash that like button and you hit the subscribe button because we're trying to get this channel to a million subscribers and we cannot do it without you. 
the number one fastest and easiest way to attack this address identification number on your credit report is to call the credit reporting agency, Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion, and you're going to speak to someone in the fraud department. I'll put up the phone numbers up on the screen so you can actually see them. These are up to date and they are accurate. Go through the prompts until you get to the fraud department and you want to speak to an actual representative. Never call early in the morning and never call late at night. Call right after lunch around 1 p.m. because they've eaten lunch and they're in a better mood. Now, when you call them and get them on the phone, you want to be the nicest person you have ever been. Once you get an actual human on the phone, they're actually going to ask you some questions, verify your information, be super kind to them. And what I do is I say, hey, what's up, man? My name is Michael Mesa and I'm calling because I have a, a couple of issues on my credit report. And, you know, you know let's let's just stop this, man. Hold on. How are you doing today, bro? How's your day going? He said, oh, thanks for asking. Listen, I know you've probably been yelled at a lot today. I'm not here to yell at you. So just know that I'm not here to yell. Um, I want to see how you're doing, man. And I just got a couple of issues on my credit reports to see if you can help me with it. Oh, oh OK, well, what's the issues? Well, I noticed some actual addresses on my credit reports that are not accurate and they're not mine. So I, I would like to see if you can help me delete these off of my credit report. I would greatly appreciate it. Okay, usually they're gonna say, oh, okay, great. Yeah, no problem. We'll definitely take care of that for you. Tell me what those names and addresses are. You give them the names and addresses and then they actually delete them from your credit report. It's literally just that simple. Now, if the person doesn't want to delete them or they're just not friendly, don't argue with them. Say, hey, listen, I appreciate all your help today, man, but I got to get back to work. I'll call you guys back later, okay? All right, thanks, man, and hang up the phone and then call back again until you get a different representative that wants to help you because you're going to get sometimes a situation where the person's not going to be as nice even when you are nice. So you just hang up the phone and try again. Once you have successfully deleted those addresses that are tied to those old collections or charge-offs, you have disassociated yourself from that actual collection, making it harder for them to actually verify it and easier to delete them. You've also heard people say that you need to freeze the secondary reporting agencies because that's going to make it where they can't verify. It. It's not true, ladies and gentlemen. Stop wasting your time. You do not actually have to freeze them be because these third party credit reporting agencies have what's called an unbroken chain of communication and reporting. So you've heard people say freeze SageStream, LexisNexis, CoreLogic. You know, a novice, freeze them all. They can't access your credit reports and they can't verify them. Anytime anybody says that, I know that they are an amateur and they really don't do credit repair because the websites themselves clearly tell us that freezing it doesn't matter if the collection is on your credit report. Don't believe me? Don't worry. I bring proof. So when they say freeze your LexisNexis and your SageStream report, uh, okay, SageStream is actually the same company as LexisNexis, they own it. LexisNexis is a database of addresses and insurance information, and this is how debt collectors skip trace and find people. So let's take a look at what it says on LexisNexis website. If you scroll to the, the very bottom, it says, however, a security freeze does not apply to companies or collection agencies acting on behalf of such companies with which you have an existing account that re requests information in your consumer report for the purpose of reviewing or collecting the account. So right there, they tell us it doesn't matter if you freeze it. If they're collecting on the account, they can get it. Now let's go look at one more, a novice. So in Novus, it clearly says third parties still have access to your Novus credit report when a security freeze is in place, include companies that have current accounts or relationships with you, collection agencies acting on behalf of companies that have a current account or existing relationship with you. Again, they clearly tell you it doesn't matter if you freeze it, the collection companies can still get your information and communicate with us. So don't focus on freezing the third party credit reporting agencies. Focus on your names and addresses. Your addresses 
are the key and this is the first step that you need to do in the disputing process now so i hope you enjoyed this video we covered a lot on the disputing and don't waste your time freezing those third-party credit reporting agencies so if there's anything else specific you want me to talk about, drop it in the comment section. If you want me to talk about more credit repair, more collections, charge-offs, all those things, drop it in the comment section. Drop some emojis in there so we can get this video going so more people can learn about this. And I cannot thank you enough because it's all about you, our community, so thank you for watching. And make sure that you watch the next two videos because those are recommended by YouTube. And don't forget, subscribe to increase your credit score.